Hey guys, this is Morgan, and this week I'm going to show you guys how to sharpen your image using a high pass filter. Uh, right here is a picture I took last time I was in Chicago. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I do to most of my images uh, to get them uh, tack sharp. Uh, focus, obviously, if the picture's not in focus, then you this isn't going to recover that or anything, but uh, this you can see right here uh, is the original image, and then afterwards, you can see, uh, there's a lot more. Uh, a detail. Alright, so let's begin. I want to start off by deleting that layer um, just uh, so we can start with the background image. Uh, you're going to want to press Control J to duplicate that. We'll name that uh, we'll name that layer high pass because we will be using a high pass filter um, to achieve the look that we are going for. All right, so now that you have the layer that you just made selected, you're, you're going to go up to Filter, Other, and click on High Pass. This uh, menu bar is going to pop up, and you're going to want to select. Uh, I usually stick with 2.5, um, with a radius of 2.5 or 3.5 pixels. That is, uh, it's it's up to you. You do not want to uh, to get too crazy with this. The lower, the better. Um, I'll do I just did 3.5 so I'll put that back there you'll press OK and now you'll see the image is just like this weird gray thing I, I'm not sure but uh, with that layer selected you're gonna go to uh, blending modes right here and you're gonna change that to soft light and when you zoom into the image and you click that layer on and off you'll see a huge change the image uh, is a lot is a lot sharper now. And when I go to zoom out, it looks a lot better. Um, sometimes it's nice to adjust the opacity if it's too uh, if, if if it's too sharp or sometimes it can get a, like a little static if everything is just super sharp in the image. What I like to do is I'll press normally the mask button right here, and I'll go through with a soft brush. Change the opacity to twenty percent uh, for this image, and again, it changes for for everything. Um, and I will paint with black. Make sure that the uh, mask uh, icon is uh, is selected, the mask layer. And I'll kind of paint over, paint black over the trees and any um, bushes and stuff like that, just because I don't want all those sticks and stuff. Uh, I don't want my attention drawn there, and I don't want anybody else's. So we'll make that a little bit softer, and we'll go to zoom back out, and that looks a lot better. That is it. Uh, we'll press a uh, Control Shift Alt E to make a screenshot of the two uh, layers below. Um, we come up and and yeah that is uh that is how you sharpen your image using a high pass filter you can use this for everything i especially love uh using it in portraits it looks amazing um, you don't want to use it too much actually i'll show you guys an example let's see here mm. All right, now i've got this picture of uh tory pudwill I took a little bit ago, and uh, it might be a little noisy. It's pretty high ISO, but no. Adjust the white balance a little bit. You always want to use a uh, enable lens profile correction. Um, that's a fantastic button. Nobody really ever uses that. I feel, and it's a uh, it's definitely important. All right, now I'm just gonna bring the shadows up a little bit. Exposure, Ooh, too much. All right, that's looking okay for now. Just to so I can show you guys what I am talking about. All right. All right. So for this image, we're gonna do the same thing. Control J to duplicate that. We'll name it High Pass. And uh, for portraits, we're going to want to be more uh, selective. So what we're going to do, file, I mean filter, other, high pass. We'll do 
3.5 pixels again. I'll press OK. Come over here to your blending modes and I'll change that back to soft light. And already there's a there's after and there is before. You can see it just makes it a lot sharper. It really brings out the detail in his eyes. Um, but you see it's also sharpening his entire face, which we do not want. So I'm going to add another mask to this layer. And with the mask selected and my brush tool selected, we're going to uh, change the opacity to this to 20. All right, it's already there. Actually, no, let's change that to, change that to 75. And you're going to want to come down here and press on the mask icon again. Control I to, uh, to, to inverse that uh, the mask. So instead of the whole image being sharp, uh, you'll see just the original image basically. And you're going to go back and paint in the parts that you want to sharpen. So I really liked the de detail that it brought out in his eyes. I'm going to make my brush smaller. And I'm just going to paint white over over his eyes maybe uh his eyebrows a little bit there we go it really brings out some um, some facial definition paint on his beanie a little bit just being being selective I kind of like I like it looks cool uh, paint doing a little bit on the on the hair and stuff so you you can see a nice uh, before right there and then after his uh, his eyes really pop so uh, that is a quick little tip to sharpening your images with a high pass filter uh, there you go.